Yes guys, what is that name? Welcome back to another build, video on the DC5 turbo build and today we're hopefully starting it, we're going to check everything over, make sure everything is spot on and then hopefully, fingers crossed, like pray with me, all this kind of stuff and pray that we get this car done. So without further ado, we're going to check everything over, show you what bits we've done, how we've like ran it and stuff and then hopefully by the end of the video we'll have started it. So fingers crossed, before we go in here, comment, like, share, subscribe, all that, honestly I massively appreciate it. So yeah. DC5 content, let's go. Right, so first things first, we're just gonna loosen off the uh, turbo because uh, this gasket isn't sitting like 100% flat. It's like, it looks like it like crimps up one side. Um, so I'm just loosening it off now and then I'm gonna try and reposition it. Um, so yeah, mate, how good does it look, man? It looks absolutely insane. So I've done these up equally as possible. The sides are pretty flat to be fair, like the sides are flat. But just that bit there, look, I can't go any tighter on that at all. Um, the gasket did have like a beveled middle, so there was like a hole in the middle. But there was like three lips. I've never dealt with a gasket like that. But yeah, down part, ready to line that up. And hopefully we get the exhaust on shortly, so yeah. And then it's just going to be the case of just checking all the lines. Making sure the boost lines are on, all that kind of stuff, and the clamps. And yeah, we should be good to start. Oil, coolant bit of a uh, fluid for the reservoir tank uh, for the power steering and we should be ready to rock we're going full v-band set up so there's going to be no like free bolt gasket it's literally just v-band for the wind so easy to change easy to remove easy to put on so yeah let's line it up and stick that on right so hopefully we're recording uh, this is the damn pod in uh, this is so silly getting this camera and doing this with it uh, but yeah hopefully you can see the down pipe is there oil lines are all that the kind of out of the way so yeah let's go on to putting the uh, rest of the system in boy can we just take a second just to appreciate how good Dean's welds are like oh my have you ever saw a sexier piece of exhaust I haven't and I think I'll be waiting for a very, very long time so that is the little bit of the depot, so the flexi. Um, so yeah, let's let's get her in. So, uh, down pipe has been put on, but I'm trying to do the uh, flexi on my own, so I'm struggling, but my good friend Tom is here to help me now. So what we're going to do, whilst we're waiting for our crew member, um, we are going to do up all the AM fittings. So best way, if you can't afford an AM spanner, what you do, get a rubber glove and then you sit it on top like that and then you can do, I don't, didn't even do it but you get you get what I mean so instead of scratching the pipe put it in the rubber glove and then whack it on and it will do it just like that easy peasy fucking why did I go to show them? so there we go so the oil feed has been done we've done these ones we've done these ones we're just literally cranking the two on the back and then we've rerouted the oil return because it just seemed a bit I don't know it didn't look like it needed to go that way but worst case scenario if it's not we'll just either this car will set on fire or we'll just drain the oil and go again right so they're putting on the boost pipes uh, so just the clamps and stuff so there's like uh, four on the hot side four on the cold side um, and then whilst they've been doing that I've been getting jiggy with the exhaust so center section down pipe and that's in uh, all we've got left to do is mount this wow. and then i think we've got to twist it just a little bit and uh yeah that'll do he's done yeah huh. i've had enough i can't get this to fucking line up and i'm gonna this car and that's it we're starting Eh? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. That was Scott's Scott language. You've been just brimming it, Scott. You don't sound like you know what you're doing. He don't know what he's doing, does he? You're brimming it. it. You're filling it up. It's not leaking, so you might be able to start. Oh, I'm leaking it. Oh god, why is it being like that? Don't act like I knew what you was going to say that. Do you reckon it will stop at some point? Bottom Rice Pro uh, 10W50 oil 
So yeah, let's whack five litres of goodness in. Fuck. Slow down a bit. I'm trying. <laughs> So what we've done is we've disconnected the core packs so it'll be able to pump oil through the system so we've put coolant in we've put four and a bit litres of oil because it's got the oil cooler now it's actually going to take up more oil so because my battery's dead um, we're going to try and jump it or just crank it as such um, and then obviously how many cranks we should do that many um, and then we'll hopefully start it with the core pack so let's get on it scared So hopefully, as you saw from the last video, it won't start. Uh, got two issues. One, the battery is dead, dying. Um, obviously, it's been sitting there for so long, it's just completely gone kaput. So we are currently getting a battery charger. We're going to try and charge it overnight. We're going to properly try and crank it um, and then see if it will start. And then the second one is we got a fuel leak from something we haven't even messed with. So we've messed with so much stuff and the one thing we haven't touched it's leaking from. So let me show you. Uh, this little bit here, it's leaking from there. Um, well it was, I've, I've just like nipped it up. But I haven't touched that at all so I don't know why fuel was leaking out of it. But yeah guys, this is it. The turbo DC5 is nearly here so we put 5 litres of oil in it. Uh, we've filled it up with coolant. Yeah, ready to rock. So this is day two, will it start? Battery has been charged up all night. Uh, as you can see in there, uh, so it's been charged. And we are gonna try and just pump some fuel, just try and pump some oil around the engine. Uh, so fingers crossed, we can do it. So core packs have been connected now because it seemed to start, it's, it wanted to start um, and then now it's the case of just plugging back the injectors. We're not actually leaking anymore for some reason so I've uh, uncrimped it and it seems to be working fine so is it going to start that is a question so I think it's going to fire up straight away but we shall see. Right then, let's see if all this has paid off. Is it going to start? Everything should be on, everything should be tight. Fuel, we've hopefully got injectors working. So yeah, let's go. Hopefully it starts because I think something to do with the alarm. If the bonnet's up, it tries not to engage the uh, alarm. So let's give it a go. So my aim is to get it started today as you can see. So what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to cut the skin out on that, so I might, I might just cut a square out of the little strengthening section and then uh, just send it, absolutely send it mate. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that little bit, I'm just going to get rid of that flat bit and then hopefully the more away I cut away and peel away, then the more surface area of that will imprint on that. So I'm just going to take the out, the first skin, which is this line here, using a drill bit. Um, and then bend it and then just just keep checking it and marking it keep checking it and marking it and then hopefully we can't go wrong What do you reckon? <laughs> oh my god, badger it, it's finest Yeah Oh no Right, so Don't do what I've done <laughs> I've absolutely ruined this bonnet uh, I think the thing that I've struggled with is because it was like that rather than that so when it was close at this section, as it's got close, it's like come away from it kind of thing. So yeah, you know, you know, I said I'll show you when I've done bad. Ah, oh, it looks horrendous, man. What? Look, you know what most YouTubers do, car people do. They'll show you from like here. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna. I think what we're thinking is probably get this cut shorter so it's like flush with the bonnet, and then maybe like add two. So cut this one in half and then add to it. Um, yeah, just not not a massive fan of how big that is. But look, if I go above it, it's only just a little bit bigger. It's just obviously you have to cut this that way and cut that that way for it to kind of like fit. So yeah, I know you're all gonna slag me off in the comments and say what have you done, but you know what? You make mistakes in life and you've got to learn from them. And that is definitely a mistake.